Good morning. This is a what if question. What if we believed a couple places that when Jesus says it is finished when he's on the cross, he meant it? Um, what if when Paul says, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus? If we truly believe those things, what would our lives look like? We'd be in a place of freedom. Um, and it wouldn't be a place of freedom to sin all the more. It would set our identity in being in Christ and being loved and accepted by Him. Then all of a sudden, you know, what ties in with that is, you know, dying to self and, and laying down to the self-life um, because of what's been done for us. If we truly believe that that he, he meant it when he said it is finished and when Paul said, there, therefore there is now no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. So that sets us free to be in a place of, you know, understanding God's love and understanding who we are uh, to be in Christ. That's the person that lays down his life. You know, that's the person that says, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Um, and that's a place of freedom. And if we can get to that place, just trust in him and, you know, um, be that guy, be that woman. Um, and then we can have rest for our souls instead of always searching for that identity outside of who we were created to be. There's beauty in that. There's freedom in that. And that's when the fruit of the Spirit comes in when that person does get to that place. At least that's what I've experienced is not the compartmentalized Christianity, but the thing where you just say, you know, uh, the one who tries to hold on to his life will lose it, but the one who lays down his, my, his life for my sake and the Gospels will find it. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me. We won't do that if we don't trust that God loves us. We won't do that if we're, we're in that place of um, trying to root out our own identity because we don't really know who we are as children of God. Understanding who you are sets you free to be able to love unconditionally, and it sets you free to just rest in Him. Be still and know that I am God. Um, man, what a different way of life. Um, for I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. You know, and that's, that's freedom. That's what it's about. It's about the life being transformed. It's not about, you know, having your best life now. But what happens out of that is you end up having your best life because you're not in fear and anxiety and all the, the garbage that goes along with trying to justify and glorify your own life. Then you're able to just love because you're so connected to love himself who is God. God is love. Um, he wants to love you today. Allow him to love you and trust in him. He's beautiful and loving uh, and you're his child. God bless.